My name's Cathy Millett, and this week we're looking at tarmac again. Can you believe it? This time, something completely different. How do you add cobblestones inset into a tarmac area as if the tarmac's worn away? Out in the real world, Cobbles embedded in tarmac is not perhaps the most common thing you might see, but it's frequent to see the old road surface coming through and tarmac wearing thin. Uh, it's a nice effect and I've used it quite a bit in my dock area just to add some interest to what is otherwise quite a large expanse of just plain tarmac. So what do we need? Well the first thing is your base layer. Now for this, I'm using card, but that sort of Bristol card that has multiple layers and two finish edges. And this is, um, I've cut and put it in place already. So the first thing we need to do is cut away that card. And that's why it's important to have a card with multiple layers, because you can peel a few of those layers off. So you've got the depth to sink your cobblestones below the layer of the tarmac. Because the idea is that they were there first and they've been tarmacked over and that tarmac has worn away exposing them. So this is the area I'm going to do. You can see there's a bit of a gap here which I'm not very happy about so I'm going to hide that and this bit's lifting so I'm going to cut this out totally and replace it. So what I need first is to get my cobbles. Now these are 3D cobble paths by Knock, and I got these years ago, it's HO, and they come in a number of different um, shapes and sizes and you should put your track down here is the theory. Um, and I've been using it up over the years and this is the piece I've got left. So what I'm going to do is run it, and I want that nice little edge there, and I'm going to run it from there down, probably to about here. So I'm just going to mark it with a pen, so I need it to be at least to there. And then it needs to be width-wise, I could do it in a couple of pieces, because um, it's got this in it, which isn't that great. So it's going to come across, and I'm probably going to do it to about here. And now all I need to do is just cut this. You can see it's actually in a couple of pieces. Um, I'm not cutting it off its backing paper. Um, I'll just put it in as it is. So I'm not in a, actually I'm not that worried about those. I'll just cut it like that. Cutting on my C here. Um, that's one of the problems with having a layout and then working up here. I don't have anywhere that's not filled with scenery. So it makes it very hard to um, cut anywhere. So I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to draw around it. Put that there, put that there. It doesn't matter if it's not totally exact. There we go. So I'm just going to cut that out. And this is why you use this particular any type of card that's in sort of pressed layers is when you cut it like this, you're not going through the card. Now, the thickness of the card whoops, is important because you have to be able to take a couple of layers out like this. Just peel off that top layer and then it will come out. But you need to get enough that you can get the um, cobblestones in flat. And just one layer isn't always enough, so here we go. Depending how much you want, yeah. They normally just come out in layers. There's another layer out. And then here, likewise, another layer. You've got to make sure it stays as well beneath the um, height of your rail, or it will be impossible to peel your rail. So just a little bit of... Um, peeling off of card. You don't want to go all the way through or you won't have anything to stick your cobbles to. There we go. So now if I put this in place, it will fit in. Now, it doesn't quite fit there. Let me just carve this away a little bit more. It doesn't have to be exact and you'll see why in a minute. It just needs to be enough that you can get it all down. Okay, it's almost exactly level. There's not much for a tarmac layer there. So I'm just going to pull a little bit more off around the edge so I can just get it in a little bit deeper into this.
Right, let's see how that looks. You can see that just fits in a little bit better now. I'm going to stick this first piece on. So this is literally just peel and stick, but I need to just slice these two bits apart. And then you can peel and literally just stick it in place. Oops. Right up against that track where I've got that gap, which is perfect to hide it. And just put it in place. This is quite a nice product to work with. Um, oops. It's quite flexible, easy to use. There we go. So now I've got a lovely bit of um, tar cobblestone on that side. I'm just going to do something about this. Okay, now I don't mind if it's pushed in a bit and it's not quite smooth and it's a bit bumpy because it's cobblestones and they've given way over time. So what do we do now? I mean, the edges look a bit manky, don't they? Um, you could cut it much more neatly than I have, but you don't need to. So now we're gonna take some plastic putty. So this is Deluxe Materials Perfect Plastic Putty and I really like it, it's just an acrylic putty. Very easy to use and what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on around the edges with a spatula and actually can fill this little gap here and we just need to make sure we look like we've got patched tarmac and that's all we need to do just into here making sure we don't go over our um, and I have used it to fill these gaps where I'm a little bit unhappy with them. Now this is sandable, but the card isn't, so I do try and make it as um, smooth as possible coming onto the card. But that means all these areas where you weren't exactly neat with the cutting or um, you weren't 100% happy, you can just tease it away. And you can have it sort of like broken tarmac with bits of um, the um, sort of cobbles coming through. The next stage is just to take some sandpaper and just smooth it off. This is a very, very fine wet and dry paper. It doesn't take much, you just want to get rid of any lumps and bumps that you might have left by mistake. Now, I'm not actually very happy with this, so I'm going to put another layer on. There we go, done. Now, it does need a coat of paint at the moment. And next week, we're gonna look at um, how to sort of get it to fill in by the next coat of grit or carborundum or silicon carbide or whatever we do. And that's next week's video, but I'm just gonna put a coat of paint on so you can see the effect now. Otherwise, it just doesn't look very good, does it? So here's the final result, cobbles under grit. Now, we will be looking at the grit next week and we will be looking at painting them, which brings all this together in a future week. I've got an awful lot of tarmac in my dock area with inset trackage. And what I'm really keen is it doesn't look boring. So I'm looking at interesting tarmacs, different techniques for it, and little quirky bits like these cobbles that are eroded away. I think it's a brilliant effect. I think there's going to be a run on tarmac. Hmm.
exciting stuff. And with cobbles too. <gasps> Who would have thought tarmac eroded to cobbles? She's a genius, that big Cathy. I don't know how she comes up with them. Wow. Just wow. If you haven't subscribed, you should do it. All the good people do. I'm her new social media campaign expert. I'm telling people to subscribe. Yeah, get me. Mills get or Kathy in charge or something. Mm. So I sneak on at night and I go on to the, the um, typewriter thingy uh, keyboard and I press a button and I press another button and after about an hour <sighs> I've typed a whole post. Yeah. She sometimes comes down and deletes them before I get them live. But every now and then I get one in. You know. What can I say? Yep. Social media. That's me. 1 to 35, Cathy. Rocking social media. Okay, well, I've said enough about tar cobbles, really, and tarmac. A few more weeks to come. Keep watching. They're really good. You're going to love them. Um, if this was a proper advert, we'd cut to, I don't know, cute puppies or um, laughing cats. We do have a cat, but black, doesn't show up on the tarmac. A bit big, actually. It doesn't live in this house. So, um, yeah, so the cat's not here. Um, you also have to settle for cute cathies. I can sing. No, really, I can't. So, um, subscribe. Watch the videos, more tarmac coming, key points. <laughs>